This is a demonstration cut using the Forest Manufacturing Model 480i with power head raise lower. Um, this is mostly about making the cut. I have other videos introducing this machine. In short, this is a Model 480i, horizontal blade saw, cutting in a horizontal plane. You can raise lower the head on this machine. Um, it's powered, head raise lower. Table on this machine, powered traveling table. It's running on linear bearings, so very smooth ride. The top surface is a 3 8 inch thick piece of aluminum mill plate. So we have a very flat table traveling on very flat linear rails because a very nice cut. The material I'm cutting today is a reticulated foam material. It has been impregnated with all kinds of things that I don't understand and if I did I probably wouldn't be able to tell you about them. But it's a fairly stiff foam and uh, we tried cut we're trying to make sheets basically we have a block of material we're trying to take sheets off of it our first cut we used a knife edge scallop style blade and um, because the material is relatively stiff the scallop edge blade did not give a great result cutting through 24 inches of material if we'd only been cutting through say 12 inches of material we might have done better cutting through a solid 24 inches of material there was just too much pushback from the stiff material. We did not get a perfectly straight cut. We are using instead what we call a honeycomb style blade. So it's a one inch wide, four tooth per inch honeycomb style blade. It cuts with a hybrid slicing blade type action, slicing knife type action, but it also does remove a channel of material. It produces a kerf so the blade can travel through stiff materials very easily. In general terms, Soft, squishy materials, think seat cushion foam, can be cut well using a scallop edge blade. Rigid materials, wood, hard foams, you usually have to use a hook tooth style blade that creates a kerf that is a cut out channel of material to make way for the blade to go through. This is kind of a hybrid and it's given us a very good result. We made one cut already because I didn't want to tape this until I was sure it was going to work. Um, we're going to, now going to try to take a two inch thick piece off the parent block. Um, so the material is very low friction. I have it on an aluminum surface here. It wants to slide around. For now, we just have a big piece of steel on top of it to keep it from sliding around. I think the ideal for this application would be if they want a horizontal blade traveling table saw, I would recommend a vacuum surface to hold the workpiece down, keep it from sliding around. The weight is not ideal. I certainly would not recommend a weight if this was a really springy foam, a little squishy stuff, but because it is so rigid, that means we can throw a weight on top of it and it doesn't really deform the material all that much. It doesn't squish in and most importantly, it doesn't really squish the blade or pinch the blade that much. Another thing that happens if you throw a weight on like seat cushion foam, you get a divot, you then make a nice straight cut, but as soon as you take the work off, the weight off, the foam springs back and now you find you've got a mound where the weight was. So I've already set a um, table advance speed that I know works. The blade speed on this machine is fixed. We're running about 3,000 feet per minute. We're running a blade tension of about 18,000 PSI. That is um, 60 PSI on the pressure gauge. This machine has pneumatic tensioning. Now I will stop talking and start cutting. Machine has our basic control, so it only has controls on the panel face here. So I'm going to be kind of out of sight here while I monitor the cut process. Start the saw. Start the table advance. I'm running at about 30% of full machine speed. As I have this set up now, it has a maximum table advance speed of about 2 inches per second, so we're running about 0 0.6 inch per second table feed speed. It's given me a good result. I could probably go faster, but I don't prefer to conduct that experiment when I have so few work pieces to play with. I just want to get some good quality cuts. John, after the cut's over, I'm going to ask you to pull the weight off and uh, show the produced work piece to our viewing audience at home. And we're through. Little belt squeal there. We'll have to uh, tighten it.
tighten that V-belt up a bit. This machine is actually not quite finished yet. We're about 98% finished. We have a few tune-up type things to do, but we wanted to uh, get some sample cuts done. How's that look? Flat. Super flat. Try the, try the uh, other axes. Excellent. Let me show it to the camera. So I'll bring this in close for the camera. But that is a, both sides of this workpiece were cut using the same blade. And that looks like a winner. So if you have any questions or like to discuss your application, for this saw or any other special bandsawing application you have, please feel free to call or email us at Forest Manufacturing. Thank you for watching.